Let's learn how to program and store repeatedly used Sabre formats with programmable function or PF keys to simplify and fast-track booking process. To create or view PF keys, we need to click on PF keys tab on top right side of Sabre Red 360 screen. Currently, there are no PF keys defined. To initiate the process of PF keys creation, click on the three dots on right side. Click on Edit. Enter the PF key label here. Optional PF key description can be entered here. Enter the Sabre system command in the PF key command field. Click here to automatically enter the command into the Sabre system when you play the PF key. Otherwise you will have to hit the enter key yourself. Click on save to store your PF key. There are two different ways to execute a PF key. Either press the function key F1 on your keyboard or click on the PF key label. The maximum number of PF keys available per agent is 180. Let's check other options available for PF keys. Your PF keys can be exported using this option. Click on import. Browse for the PF keys execution file already saved on your computer. Now click on upload. Check the comment section of this video for the link of PF keys execution file. All the PF keys are imported successfully. You can edit the imported PF keys if needed. PF key label can be edited from here. Let's update the contact number under command field. Click here to save the changes. To hide the PF keys panel, click here. Let's create new PNR using PF keys. Display the air availability with number 1, followed by the date of travel, then three letter codes for origin and destination. Click on the desired booking class. Let's select two seats. Now, click on sell. Two seats are sold successfully. Add hyphen with family name of the adult passenger, followed by slash and the first name with title. Now, we will add the name of child passenger. Let's add the name of infant passenger. Display all the elements of the PNR. Now, click on Trip Summary tab. Here, child passenger is displayed as adult. To change the passenger type, click on three dots beside the name. Then click on Edit Traveler. Select the passenger type as CNN for child. Save the changes. Click on three dots beside the name of infant. Click here to add SSR. Now select infant slash child option. Select SSR for infant on adult's lap. Add date of birth for infant as per passport. Select the name of adult traveler from the list. Click on add to PNR. To close trip summary view, click here. Now, open PF keys panel and click on the first key to add mandatory elements in the PNR. Sabre PNR is reflecting here. Airlines record locator is still pending. Type IR command to ignore and retrieve the PNR. Let's add the passport details using PF key. Keep adding the details as prompted by the system. Save the changes. Now, ignore and redisplay the PNR. To display the security information, type asterisk P3D command. Use this PF key to add secure flight passenger data. Keep adding the details as prompted by the system. Save the changes. Use this PF key to add emergency email ID. Replace at symbol with double slashes and email address. Use this key to add emergency mobile contact. Let's save the changes. Use MD command to move down. Emergency contact details are displayed here. Display all the elements of the PNR. You can continue adding the passport and emergency contact details for other passengers in the PNR. You can import these PF keys using the link provided in the comment section. Ignore the PNR.